The challenge has been finding gloves that keep your hands warm and dry. And I found these on Amazon. They're called Winter Grips. Uh, they're made by a company called Bellingham. And uh, they've done very well. They're really sturdy. Uh, they're latex dipped. And I've been abusing them. I'll show you when we get to the splitter what kind of wood I've been handling with these. Um, this pair I've been using for about a month, month and a half. And it's really held up well. I'm surprised. You know, I, I tried them on a whim. And they're fleece lined, so it keeps your hands warm. And I bet they would work as long as you're working. I think they would work up till about, uh, I don't know, maybe the teens. I probably wouldn't go much lower than the teens or 10 degrees. But let's go ahead and uh, get to work with these gloves and I'll show you what kind of abuse they can take. These kind of days where you got, it's in the upper 20s and it's wet. Like, and you need to get in here and grab. You got, you know, if you wore the regular gloves with just like leather palms, your hands would be soaked in no time. Matter of fact, I got a pair with me and I just swapped them out. You can see that it's, it's wet on the splitter too. But these are the other kind of gloves I'm talking about. And these are fine. These keep you warm, but they get wet, especially these palms, even though they're leather. And I have waterproof these. I have this uh, silicone compound I spray on these just to try and help things. But this tree gave up its life for my wood stove. She's what I call a leaner. It was uprooted. And they'll, uh, they'll hold on for a little while, but it'll eventually die. So these are sharp edges on here. I have really sharp saws and they work very well. But these are sharp edges and I'm grabbing right on the right on those edges with this. So Perfect, right there. All right, here we go. Wonder Grip Glove. So you can see right here what kind of stuff you're dealing with, these edges and these these sharp pieces. I thought they'd be punctured by now, but they've held up well. But this is the kind of wood we're dealing with with these gloves. And my hands are toasty and dry. They really have held up well. That's a pretty good rundown right there. That's the kind of conditions these gloves will stand up to. And like I've said, I've been using these for a month, month and a half, and they've done really well.